These are my top five altcoin picks that are trading right now. To give you guys a frame of reference, I've been doing this for a long time. If you go way back in January, I put out a list of about 45 coins and they all have literally mooned. And if they haven't yet, well, they're probably about to. But you don't care about what I was talking about in January. Let's talk about the five hot coins now. And I also got a couple bonuses for you as well. Number one, wait, Hourglass. You guys saw I joined them as an advisor. Why? Because you love launch pads and you've seen how paid and other launch pads have been performing recently. So when we look at those launch pads, we understand that we have to still buy into the IDOs. But what if you could buy tokens, stake tokens, and literally earn tokens of new projects that are launching for free? That's what Hourglass is doing, and they have an all-star team. The board member that sits on the chair is a billionaire named Jeff Mahoney. We have Jet, we have Brian D. Evans, guys that all are millionaires on the team. Literally every advisor they brought on the team is also a millionaire. You have the most successful people in crypto doing this at one time where the whole entire team are super successful. And that is why I think Wait Hourglass token is something you definitely should be looking at. Number two, a project I also advise is Cornucopias. Now you may have seen them on Neo Tokyo, Alex Becker talked about them as well. And you may have looked at the chart and seen that it's doing really, really well. Well, they have new stuff coming out with their node sale, which is about to start and the game looks absolutely amazing in Unreal Engine 5. There'll be a video probably right behind me right now that you'll be able to see some of that for yourself and get a good feel on look for the game. During bear market, they launched in January of 2022, never came down to even less than 10X of the public sale price. And right now they're on an absolute moon mission and it's not too late. Number three, have you ever wanted to be an influencer but also not wanted to be an influencer? I had the idea for AI influencers when ChatGPT came out. So I was looking around and telling my friends about this and they decided to build a project called Fame Token. Now it's FMC as the cash tag, but it's known as Fame Token. And why am I bullish on it? Because they've made four AI influencers in the last month. And the average influencer out of all four of them has over 10,000 followers. It's super realistic. It looks amazing. And if you want to do things that maybe you don't want to do with your own face because maybe it's chilly or something like that, you could basically create your own AI influencer and have them do it the way you think would be the best and most bullish for the cycle. Pretty interesting stuff. And I mean, if you hate an AI influencer, they probably don't give a crap. So something nice to, to see. And I think that, that you know, people at home that would love to be influencers but want to stay on, this is a great opportunity for you to build something that does things exactly the way you would want to yourself. Number four, going a little bit more traditional with this one, I'm going for usability for you guys at home watching to make it easy for you, your mom, your grandma, all to use blockchain. And that is Near Protocol. Now, Near Protocol has their own blockchain operating system. They have a very easy web wallet to use where you just basically connect to Google the same way you do for everything else. And now you have a web wallet. It's very easy to move assets in and out of that wallet. And basically because everything integrates so seamlessly through the blockchain operating system, you have an easy way to actually onboard and start using crypto without actually really knowing you're using crypto. And that is what I think think is extremely bullish about Nier's protocol system, not to mention the like half a billion dollars of marketing budget they have. And I mean, marketing is why people buy stuff or go into things. So I think that's a really bullish narrative and Nier protocol, I think is going to be a big blockchain in this ecosystem, this cycle. And it started moving, but it's really not gone on a move yet. Number five, similar reasons to why I like Nier is Algorand. Algorand and Nier both actually have never had a full cycle. So they've gone in a cycle had vesting, price dumps like I always talk about, but they've never had all their tokens out and now we have a new ecosystem with all the tokens out and now you don't have to worry about people dumping tokens, etc. You actually can focus on usability, user experience, user interface. So you hear people say UI and UX, this user interface, so how, how you guys interact with it and user experience, UX. So how is it for you to use it? If it's like BRC right now, you might not be so bullish because it's very difficult difficult even for OGs the first time they use it. So how are retail going to use it? So I'm looking at projects that make your life easier, make everyone's life easier coming into the ecosystem. Now a couple bonuses for you. One being a meme coin, one being a sector. Right now, the time is for IDOs. Right now is the time for private sales. Why? Because the market is slowly getting bullish and those projects are generally going to have large upside. Why? Because it's very hard for retail with so many projects and not knowing which ones are good 
to trust a launch pad. Good examples. Well, I've been in paid, you guys know, as an advisor from the start, they have a, a huge resurgence, but so is Cedify, Sui Pad, Gains Pad, Bull Perks. All of these launch pads are going to continue to rise, in my opinion, because all of you want to get access to public sales, which normally you would not have access to. So I think with new retail people coming in in this cycle and old people coming back that don't have all those connections, this is an absolute narrative for you guys to get in to great projects that as a bonus will definitely let you get into them as well. The last one is a meme coin. Talked about it a few times. Said I wouldn't talk about it again, but I, I kind of love it. And I think you guys should also look into it. It's not gone on a crazy meteoric run yet. So it's very early still is Osaka protocol. Now a little bit of alpha for you because I always talk about it and people ask me why. Why Osaka? Shiba founder founded this. Shiba's team members are also involved in this. Shiba whales are also involved in this. And the more research that you do and you look and you look at the buys of 5 ETH, 10 ETH, 20 ETH sometimes, you get a really good idea of what's happened in Shiba if you go back and seeing similar types of setups. And they will always slow moon this one, but I believe that this one is one that you can, uh, I bought personally 20 ETH worth. I've, told, I've talked about this before. And I just chucked in a wallet and I don't even have ETH in the wallet. I can't sell even if I want to right now, because I don't believe that this will be just a small cap coin. I believe that they're going to push this to another high cap. So honestly, guys, I actually hate when people ask me about what are your top five picks for this? What are your top five picks for that? Mainly because it's really hard for me to choose. And this is why in January I made a basket of coins. And obviously I'm going to add to that basket. We're going to update that basket in another video. So you definitely should like and subscribe and make sure you don't miss it. But yeah, we're going to do more of these picks so I can help lead you guys to the right path but you need to do the research you need to take the time to actually see who's involved and you should be making your decisions for yourself don't say because i talked about it that you went in all in and, and it doesn't work out because not everything will so that's why i'm giving you many coins to choose mainly because it's very simple if you have a list of tokens and some of them don't do well and other ones do great you'll always end up on the winning side and what are the chances that i'm going to be wrong 90 percent of the time i mean go do your research that doesn't actually happen keep in mind guys any of these projects I talk about could always go to zero. So how do you protect yourself? Capital preservation. If you put in five grand into a project and it goes up to 80 grand, do not let the 80 grand turn into two grand and lose three grand. What you should do is Take profit slowly, get your initial out, and then you have nothing to lose even if the product goes to zero. And this is something that you must learn because as you take profit, you can take that free money you just earned, put it into new projects, and continue to multiply it over and over again. 